There we go. That is an XY chain. Greetings, friend. Timberlake here from Smart Hobbies. The channel helps you transform a passing interest to a fun and enjoyable hobby. I have a great Sudoku handmade classic for you today. This is called Ghost in the Cell. It's by Pathetic Pancreas. Um, I found that this particular puzzle on the Cracking the Cryptic Discord server, very cool, very nice. Uh, it got a lot of great reviews from people. And uh, Pathetic Pancreas also did a different puzzle that I saw featured on Unshackling Sudoku uh, channel. And I thought it was a pretty neat puzzle. I had tried that one, solved it, liked it. And so I reached out to Pathetic Pancreas and said, hey, can I feature one of your puzzles on my channel? Here it is, Ghost in a Cell. I have not tried to solve this before, but I am looking forward to it. I'm sure it's going to be nice and challenging. And with that, it's, it's, it's solving, 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 solving. I'm going to show all the candidates and I'm going to see what I can solve. Okay. Like I, I like to mention, uh, when you're doing candidate elimination, it might be hard initially, but you're looking for cells, you know, that have easier breakpoints, ones where you can go through and go, okay, there's not too many. I can, you know, if it only has a couple of cells, maybe I can figure it out. So you got like a three, five, nine triple right here, for example. So that means I can eliminate a three, five, and nine from the rest of block one. What does that give me? A two, seven, eight triple remaining. Okay, cool. But I can also eliminate, this is kind of, a, these are locked triple. I can get rid of all the three, five, and nine. So that has to be a four. That's got to be a one, six, and that's got to be a one, six pair. All right, making some progress. Other things I'll look for is I'll scan across and see if I can find any uh, hidden singles. So I'm looking through here. You see how there's multiple ones and threes. There's no hidden singles there. Multiples fives and sixes, and then come through here sevens, eights, and nines. Okay, no hidden singles there. Come down. I don't see any in the first few rows. I can also tell though, you know, if something's limited to a row, block, column. Uh, if it's a lock candidate, you can kind of make it out pretty simple doing this method as well. Okay, I do have a naked single three. Got my two seven pairs. That means I can get rid of all the other twos and sevens. This block it's locked, so that means I can get rid of the seven and the twos right there. It gives me a five, eight, nine, and the fives are now locked here. Uh, and so those, because they're the only fives in block, uh, excuse me, because they're all they're both in block four. The only fives in row five, so I can get rid of these fives right there. And if there are any fives on there, I can get rid of those as well. All right, and so this is, I'm starting to get down some BVCs, which is really nice to see. Four sixes, seven eights, nines, don't see anything there. Cutting across, I'm in row seven now. Four, five sixes, sevens, eights, the eights are locked there. That makes sense because there's an eight already in rows eight and nine. Okay, four sixes, sevens, nine, and the nines are kept there. There, okay, that makes sense. And one, two, threes, fours, fives, and sixes. All right, so right now I don't see any other um, eliminations, triples, things that I can do. Doesn't mean they're not there, I just don't see them. So what I'm going to do now is go to filtering the candidates. So we're looking at the ones, and what I'm looking for is to see if there's anything out of place, if there's any pointing pairs I may have missed. Uh, we do have an empty rectangle, so I'll point that out. So this is a valid empty rectangle shape here in block seven. So if you come up this column to here, to that one, it has a strong link to this one because there's only two ones in row four. Since there's a strong link, it comes up this column, we can eliminate whatever sees the row coming out, the empty extra row. So what comes out of this row, this one, we can eliminate that. Boom. And the reason being is uh, that how the empty rectangle works. So as long as you have one column coming out and you come in on another row, it's a valid shape in here. You know that one of those has to be a one. So what it does is, is in order to have a one in here, you can't, a one can't be there or else you would not have no place for a one here in block seven. Cool. All right. Let's see if there's any other ones. And in theory, you could have came out from here, this block, you could have come this way and down 
and you made the same elimination. But now I see I have a one, four, six triple. Tells me that that eight is a hidden single. Great. Anything else with the eights? Cutting across. I uh, don't see anything else with the eights. The eights, except you come over here, it looks like the eights are now limited here into column block one, column one. Uh, since they're in the block, I can get rid of all the other eights coming down this way. All right, so some more eliminations there. Cool. Let's move on to the twos. And with the twos, I don't see any other eliminations I can make. We'll move on to the threes. And I already cleaned out the rest of column three there. That makes sense. I don't see any eliminations I can make with the threes. Okay, go to the fours. I don't see any eliminations I can make with the fours. We'll go to the fives. Uh, nothing there with the fives. Go to the sixes. Um, might be something here. Let me see. Yeah, we can do another empty rectangle. So this here in block nine, this is a, a valid empty rectangle shape. So the six points out this row, connects to this six. This six has strong link to that six. And so whatever column comes out of this block, we can eliminate the six from there. So that is not a six. And now you'll notice is now the sixes are locked to block nine so we can get rid of this six so that's a four and that's a three one two pair that means that has to be a seven uh, get rid of one so that's a nine that's a four three got a one seven so that means this has to be a four that's a one seven pair and get rid of the one so that's a five six okay that was a very fruitful elimination let's see here I don't see any other. Oh, now if you look here in block seven, now the sixes are confined uh, in row eight to block seven. So we can get rid of that six and get rid of that six. And now you got a five, seven, three, five. Okay, uh, looking good here. All right, don't see any other eliminations I can make at that time. Let's go to the sevens. I don't see any eliminations with the sevens. We'll go to the eights. No eliminations with the eights. Go to the nines. And I don't see any relation with the nines. Now, since I made some other, I might, I'm just going to go through the candidates again real quick. Uh, I don't always do this, but sometimes it'll save me some uh, time later before I go to the go to BVCs. Because once I go to BVCs, now I'm going to start looking for XY chains. And that takes a little bit longer to find in W wings. Okay. Looking good. I don't see any with threes, fours. Gonna be kind of a quick scan. Don't see any with the fours, the fives. All that makes sense. The sixes. Yeah, that makes sense. Sevens are okay. Eights, and then the nines. Okay. Oh, I have a naked single nine right there. Didn't even see that. Three five three five one six one six. Two seven eight. All right. Any other nines? Nope. Okay. Let's go to buy value cells. You see a lot of buy value cells. I just did another video on X Y chains, and when I see this many buy value cells, I'm thinking there's going to be X Y chain, X Y wing, which is the minimum form of X Y chain, minimum of three. But I do think there's going to be something here that I can use. I'm also looking at things like uh, naked triples. So like 3557, I'd look for see if there's a 37 that I could connect with. I don't see one. Uh, also of interest, the 35 and the 35, maybe you know a W wing over here, but the three and a five are still valid over there, so I can't make that just yet. Um, but what do I need to focus on here? Oh, I see an eight nine pair, so I can get rid of all these eights and nines. I missed that before. And that gives me a three seven pair, so I can get rid of all the threes and all the sevens along 
row six, and then I have a one six, one six, so I can get rid of the ones and the sixes. So, you know, sometimes you come in here and you end up doing some cleaning up. Yeah, the two eight nine is now a triple. Ah, looks good. Oh, and three seven, get rid of that three. So that makes me a four five. And then a one three six. Okay. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. And I have even more by value cells. So let's see, with my cleaning up, did I create uh, more chances for eliminations? Let's see here. One seven two seven. Is there a one two I can connect with? I don't see a one two two eight and four eight. Is there a two four I can connect with? Nope. And now I'm just trying to make some connections. Um, you know, I see a two eight two nine eight nine, but there's no elimination we make because that cell's already filled in. All right. I am intrigued. I am really curious how I'm going to crack this one because I don't see it just yet. But I will get there. I will figure this out. So what if... I'm looking here. Uh, can I make an elimination with the fives? And would it help? I started here. Five, six, six, five. Five to three. Three to six. Six to the one. One to three. I can't connect to that. Uh, nine. Because then I can make an elimination for this five. At least not that I see. I can't make a connection there. Okay. Seven, eight, two, seven, and two, eight. All right. This is the time when you're going, yeah, Tim, like you have not tried to solve this before. Because I'm just sitting here watching you stare at numbers. Uh, if you see some, hey, put it in the comments. Say, man, I just a creamer cell. I saw this. You didn't see it. And I was just waiting for you to find it. So if I, okay, well I can make, yeah, so I have a chain starting here. Five to the six, six to the, five to the six, six to the four, four to the eight, eight to the nine, nine to the five. And so that's my start, that's my finish, and then I can eliminate a five from right there. That's pretty small, but it's a start. And what does that give me? It keeps, no, if I look at the fives again, yeah, it just eliminates an extra five, but it doesn't really give me more information just yet. Okay, I think there's got to be something better than that one. Hmm. What is the solve path here? Six to five, five to seven, seven to two, two to the eight, eight to the four. There we go. That is an XY chain. Six to the five, five to seven, seven to the two, two to the eight, eight to the four, four to the six. So we end with a six, six. Anywhere we those two see can't be a six. That can't be a six. That has to be a five. And a six. And a three. That's a good elimination. Thanks for sticking with me, people. If you saw that before, congrats. That's good. That's good stuff. Uh, another interesting thing I see here is uh, there's a D variant uh, W wing. So um, we're looking at this shoot, columns four, five, and six. There's a four and an eight. In this block, there's a four and eight in this block. So right here, you'll notice that there's a four, but not an eight. So what that means is if this was an eight and this was an eight, eight and eight, there would be no place to put an eight in column six. So one of these has to be a four. So any place these two see can't be a four. That can't be a four. 
That can't be a four. That's a six. Uh, yeah, that W wing is usually pretty easy to spot, and it's yeah, very helpful. So now I have a one, two, four, triple down here. Um, I do have some naked singles. All right, three, five, three, five, two, seven, eight. That's naked. Three, the four, five. Yep. Okay, well, what else do we have here to solve? Oh, I thought that I made enough progress that we were done with this puzzle and I was going to be able to crack it. Uh, it's not cracked. I'm missing something else. What is it I'm missing? Let's see here. Maybe I built it can it's ones, twos, ones, and sevens. Nothing there. Uh, with the twos, nothing there. The threes, nothing there. With the fours, that, that's where it is. That, this is a pointing pair, so that has to be a five. That's a four, and that's a four. Is this a two-eight pair here? And can't do anything else with the fours. The fives, I mean, we actually have a unique rectangle situation going on right here. The three five, three five cents. Threes can appear more in one spot. Fives can't. This can't. Uh, this is a basically a variation of a, a type. I just do the type seven twice. That can't be a three. That can't be a three. If we know we have a unique solution, that gives us a two five eight uh, triple here in block three, and, and also this two five eight triple in row. Or excuse me, column six means that that has to be. A seven. That's a three. That's a seven. That's an eight. Four two. One two. Nine. Oops. Nine one four. Okay. Nine and eight. Two and a nine. Five and eight. Seven and five. Okay. Now we have cracked the puzzle. Uh, that was pretty fun. That was pretty fun. That X Y chain. That was a little tough for me to see. I was going in the wrong directions there. Hopefully you saw and figured out what I was doing. I also did some empty rectangles and. We did a little D variant W wing at the end. Not an easy puzzle, but very fun, very intriguing. And even when I thought I'd cracked it, I hadn't cracked it. So you can tell me, uh, handmaids are very good for that. They we use more than one type of strategy. Thank you so much. That was a lot of fun. I appreciate it. Uh, pathetic pancreas. Hopefully, I'll do some more of your puzzles in the future. I appreciate everyone who's watched this. Please let you know in the comments if you had something else that you may have done solving wise. Please continue to watch my Sudoku handmade classic videos. I'll keep putting these out about on a weekly basis. If you're a setter and you want me to feature your puzzle, please put on a link. I'll solve it logically. Make a video about it.